Welcome back everybody to Sunrise POS, sunrisepos.com. Today I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on how to set your security levels for your employees. A lot of customers think that the employee and manager cards that we provide dictate the security levels that the employees have, which in fact they do not. Uh, the em employee cards and manager cards are really just a code that is injected into the card when you're in the uh, back office. Uh, it just instead of using a punch in code uh, here when you go to say um, time card or you would punch in a code, instead you'd swipe a card so the uh, other employees cannot see. Um, the, the your code. So if you're a manager and someone's looking over your shoulder and they see you punching your code, now they have uh, manager access. So to limit that, we use employee and manager cards. So um, I'm going to go through and just show uh, how the security levels are set and in the system and in the employee file, how you choose what level each employee will have. So uh, in your uh, back office, uh, you would swipe your card at this point and you would see uh, this button here that says security settings. As you can see there's a multitude of security settings in the system and uh, anywhere from accessing driver tracking to accessing back office um, things like that and you'll notice up here what access level as you uh, choose each one um, like accessing driver status that's a level one um, to where accessing back office, that is a five. That should always be a five. Um, and uh, uh, that should be something that should be um, always a very high level of security. Um, you can go through these individually, um, like creating new orders. That could be a one or even maybe a two. Um, if you don't want your wait bus staff or people that are using the time card to be able to ring in sales, you want them to just be able to clock in and clock out, you can um, set those accordingly. But um, every business is different and they are going to set their, um, uh, their different security rights accordingly. Um, all the way to uh, paying out vendors, recalling existing orders, doing voids and, uh, or voiding items, things like that. These are all different settings that you're going to choose what access level um, that you feel those would be appropriate to. So um, one of them should be you know, the main one where a lot of the um, you know editing time cards and things like that, those are all um, different security levels that you're going to set in the system. Um, so uh, you know editing unpaid employees time cards. The, right now we have that set at a level four. I would prefer that as a level five. Um, so only the owners and high level managers have that access. So I went ahead and changed uh, editing an unpaid employees time card to um, a, a level five. And I'm going to go ahead and save and done. And now when I go back into my setup and my employee setup and I go into my uh, particular individual employee file, um, you're going to see um, with the MSR card, this is where you would swipe that MSR card. Instead of using an access code of, uh, you know, 1212 or whatever you want it to be, um, you can set it to um, whatever their their access level you you want for each individual uh, you know, each individual person. This person's job title is they're a cook. They should not have a level five access. They should have a level one access. Um, and uh, so instead of using this code here, um, you would actually highlight this. MSR card area and you would swipe that card and it would put in the uh, you know probably put in stars so it uh, doesn't show what uh, the actual MSR what's injected on that card. Um, you can have a default backup if you want to have a default backup as a code in case uh, you know they forgot their card or something like that but I don't recommend that if they forgot their card or lost their card I would just issue them a new one um, so that uh, this access code is out of the system and they're waiting for uh, you know you would just swipe and access them a new card. So um, that's what you, this is where you would set what security level this particular employee has. So um, we've got this employee, Oscar, here. Um, he's a cashier, uh, so he should maybe have a, a level two. And um, you've got uh, Stu, who is the assistant manager. Um, he could be a level four. 
and um, you've got William, uh, who's the general manager. He runs the place, so he should have the highest access of uh, 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 at um, a level a level five, and he would have his MSR card. You would swipe there, and that's what he would have. So hopefully this uh, video helped you on setting up different access rights in the system because the cards do not dictate what security level the employees have. They're merely just a way of bypassing a punched-in code for um, uh, the access to uh, to the Aldelo for uh, restaurants POS system. You set the actual access levels and individual access rights by setting their security level here in their individual employee file. Thank you very much. Uh, please visit more training videos or visit us on the line, online at sunrisepos.com. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day.